All right, here's an implicit differentiation problem. Here's your problem, cosine xy plus y squared minus the natural log of x equals 1, find dy dx. So notice that this is a long equation with x's and y's in it. So what we're going to do is take the derivative with respect to x, which means if something is a function just of x, like this term right here, all we have to do is take the derivative of it. But if something is a function that includes a y, like that, or like that, then we have to take the derivative using the chain rule, treating y as some function of x. And that's really what we're doing. Okay, That's how I like to think of implicit differentiation. So we'll, we'll do that right now. So first of all, and then of course you have to use product rules and chain rules and and all the crazy whatever, you know, quotient rules, whatever rules that you need to know. So what's the derivative of this cosine of xy? Well, we're going to have to first use um, the chain rule. What's the d derivative of the outer function? Negative sine xy. Negative sine, and don't change the inner function. Now multiply that by the derivative of the inner function. Which is going to be a product rule. And the inner function is going to be a product rule, xy. So what's the derivative of xy with respect to x? It's the derivative of the first, which is 1, times the second function, which is y, plus the derivative of the second function, which is dy dx. It's actually 1 dy dx, right? Mm -hmm. Times the second function. Or time, sorry, times the fir first function. So that's, that's what I've got to multiply this by y plus x dy dx, okay? So that's that whole mess. I'll erase this and keep going. Now I'm going to do these color coding so you can see. Now let's take the derivative of this. The derivative of that is just power rule 2y to the first, which I don't even really need to write the 1. But now I have to remember that thing about y is a function of x. Now I have to multiply it by the derivative of the inside, meaning y, and what's the derivative of the inside? dy dx. dy dx. That's what I'm doing there. And then the last thing I will do is take the derivative of the natural log of x, which, by the way, is a function entirely of x. So all I have to do is simply take the derivative. And what's the derivative of ln of x? 1 over x. It's 1 over x. And what's the derivative of 0? 0. I'm sorry, the derivative of 1? 0. Uh, is 0. Good. So there's my there's my derivative, and now I've got to isolate my dy dx. In order to isolate it, mm, there's a couple ways you can do it, I guess. Um, I think the simplest way is just to distribute this in. There's a couple ways you could do it, but I'm going to do it that way. So this is negative sine xy times y plus, or I should say minus, minus, I'll put the x in front now, um, x dy dx, I'll also put that in front, times the sine of xy, plus 2y dy dx minus 1 over x equals 0. And tell me if I'm doing something wrong because I tend to do make silly mistakes just like everybody does. Those two things I'm trying to get by themselves. Mm -hmm. So let's move those things to the right and leave everything else on the left. I'm going to write this the right way now. Negative y sine y xy um, minus 1 over x equals x sine xy dy dx that was this one moving it over that's why that became positive minus 2y dy dx uh, why did I miss something? no I'm just um, why can't you just like divide like the sine away and like Divide the sine away? You mean factor it out? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure. 
um, well, the reason I didn't want to factor it out, it was already factored out up here. Mm -hmm. But I'm trying to get this thing by itself. Okay. And like I said, there's a couple ways you could do it. You could have gone about it in a different way. I just thought this kind of seemed like the more straightforward way to do it. Because now what I'm going to do is take this this um, dy dx, these dy dx's, and factor them out. Okay. So factoring them out would give me dy dx times this minus this, which means to get dy dx by itself, which I'm going to do right now, I'm going to kind of skip a step and talk it through. I would take what's over here, negative y sine xy minus 1 over x, that's over there, divided by what would have factored out over here, which is xy, I'm sorry, x sine xy. minus 2y and that's your answer